Hey guys, it is the AC3 follower here, back once again with more Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer. Now here we are as the Coyote Man, and we're playing on Charleston at night in a game of Manhunt. So we're going to start off on the defense here, and I've just got my Manhunt defensive ability set of tripwire bombs, uh, mass morph, and throwing knives. So. Pretty much, I didn't have a specific topic really for this video. I thought I'd talk about, of course, the Battle Hardened Pack because this is the first Let's Play of Assassin's Creed multiplayer I've played here that has, you know, the Battle Hardened Pack involved in it. So I thought I'd talk a bit about that, but I also want to talk about, of course, Tyranny of King Washington, as well as some other things that are going on right now in my life. So I guess the best way to start off is with um, the Battle Hardened Pack discussion, I guess. So. Here, this is the first Let's Play with the Battle Hunt Pack. Um, as I've said, I've already finished, of course, my Battle Hunt Pack series, which I had... If you haven't watched that, I recommend go and watch that now, because it gives you a preview of all three characters, Quiet Man, Governor, Highlander, and all the maps. So go check those four videos out. One's a map preview, and then there's three separate videos for each of the characters, and checking out the customization and everything. So if you haven't seen those, go see them now on my channel. Um, also, I thought I'd talk about Tyranny of King Washington, as I said, but I guess the only thing I can really say other than what I have without, you know, repeating myself, um, is just, you know, buy the Battle Hunt Pack if you haven't got it, because it's really fun. Um, so as you'll see in this match, is, um, you, most of the time... So far as I've played, I've found very high level players playing on this DLC. Mainly because most of the people who have bought the season pass and got it early like I did are pretty high level players and serious players in the multiplayer. So they're the people who got the DLC straight away and those are the people mainly i found matches with. But it's still been really good fun, it's just been more of a challenge for me to be involved in these matches. Um, as you will see in this match, it's definitely one of my tougher matches that I've been playing. So yeah, if you haven't got the Battle Unpack, Pack, go get it now. I've said it a billion times now, I feel like, so I don't really want to keep saying it. Um, I'm really enjoying it, but I thought now that I've just gotten that, you know, Battle Hunt discussion little thing out of the way, uh, you can talk about Tyranny of King Washington, which, as most of you know, the news has come out. That, that will be out on February 19th for Xbox 360 and will with people with the season pass anyway. So it's very cool that this is going on. Um, so I'm pretty excited and you know as you know it's a three part series. Part one is of course the one that's coming out on February 19th. Now I'm thinking about doing a preview video so I'm going to do all the research I possibly can for the Tyranny of King Washington to know everything there really is to know and then just do a what we know so far kind of video, just a preview of the Tyranny of King Washington right before oh, the yeah. DLC is released. Um, so I'm pretty excited for the Tyranny of King Washington if you'd ask me, mainly because it's something new. I feel like the single player, I like the single player story, but when I feel like it's going to be a really hard game for me to want to replay. Like, I've replayed all the other Assassin's Creed so many times. I've been Assassin's Creed 3 twice through now. And I find it's a hard game to play through because of the Haytham Kenway start and the long start, like six hours before you actually get your hood on and then the game actually gets fun. Because it was fun the first time, second time I played it, I didn't enjoy the first six hours at all. I just wanted to stop. And I stopped for a while and went back to it. And then once you get to Connor, with hood and robes and everything, then the game was really fun. But even in that Connor with a hood on kind of, you know, rest of the game, 12 hours of the rest of the game, you know, it still wasn't even the best Assassin's Creed single player, so I'm thinking at least we'll get this new kind of something different with Connor never being an assassin, um, George Washington being a tyrant king, just something we've never seen before, so that'll be really cool. So I'll definitely do kind of a preview video for that. So, I'd like to hear your thoughts on Tyranny of King Washington, I guess. I'd, and if you have any thoughts on the Battle Hunt Pack, also let me know that as well. So, I didn't really have a main topic of discussion for this video. I kind of just wanted to get this Let's Play out. 
and I felt like, you know, doing a commentary, but I really didn't have much of a topic. I obviously, I wanted to mention Battle Hard and Pack, but I kind of thought that was what it was originally going to be. However, I kind of feel like all I've been doing is talking about the Battle Hard and Pack and repeating myself, so I really didn't want to keep doing that. So I guess, um, I thought I'd talk about King Washington as well as, um, the preview video I'll do in the future as well. But some other per more personal stuff going on. Um, right now, at the time I'm recording this, it is uh, Monday the 28th of January, I believe. Um, and if you don't know, I'm from Brisbane in Australia. And at the moment here in Queensland, which is the state Brisbane's in, um, we've got a tropical low cyclone that's just kind of got... Well, we had a cyclone that's gone down to tropical low now. So if you don't know what that means, it's just a really massive storm and it's caused um, a whole lot of flooding in um, the Queensland area and um, if you don't know, there's been uh, three deaths, I think, at this stage. So I'd just like to kind of say, you know, my, my thoughts and stuff, you know, go out to the families of those victims because it's, you know, a really sad time here. Um, there's been torrential rain and wind and, you know, I've, it's been pretty crazy. Second time in, uh, the last, uh, two years that this has happened, since 2011 happened and now it's happening again now. Um, so I just wanted to just kind of mention that, that my thoughts are going out to the families of the victims of, in, during the floods and I know there's more missing people now. Um, so that's some pretty um, tough stuff going on at the moment. Um, I guess I thought I'd also say so something else on a lighter note. Talk about f quick mention of Fire Team Midnight because I know I released a trailer for that um, at the start of the month, and I'm sure lots of you are wondering what's going on because I know I said um, I was going to try to release it in January, but um, that's definitely not going to happen at all. Um, when I started the project of Fire Team Midnight, um, I didn't think it was going to take as long as it has been taking, and it is an extremely long process. Um, there is lots to do, a lot more than I thought, um, and I, I don't know, it's just <laughs> been very difficult, and i if you don't know, I'm... The school year in Australia starts in January in the new year and I've just started grade 12 which is my senior year of high school so I have a lot going on as well on my plate with school and everything but I'm gonna try and not let that affect this channel um, because I love making videos but Fire Team Midnight will take a hit I mean it's gonna be released this year don't worry I'm not saying it's not gonna happen it's gonna happen however It'll just take a lot longer than I originally thought. I've got a vague idea. I've got an idea for the first episode's release, which is a while away. Um, and I'm not going to say what it is yet, just in case I change it, because I don't want to keep delaying it. But closer to the date, when I think, yes, this I will be able to release it then, I will announce a release date for the first episode. But I'll tell you what I am up to. I have finished the entire scripts for the first season. I've finished the scripts. I've got multiple people doing voice acting. Um, because I know some of you are asking, am I going to do all the voice acting? Because I know some people on YouTube do that, and it just ruins the effect. Because I know, you all know my voice, you're used to it. So I didn't think it was a really good idea to have me, you know, doing the voices, um, through, you know, through the machinima. So, I've got multiple voice actors, I'm not even sure if I'll voice anyone. I've got quite a lot of people who are excited to do voice acting for it, so I don't see the point of me doing any. Um, so there's that, and I've finished the scripts, and I'm about to hand it out to all the people doing voice acting, and once I do that, then I can actually start production of that. Um, and what, then I'll, you know, obviously, I'll just continue doing the normal production. And I'm probably, that'll take me two months to do, to get every episode of, and everything done. That'll be a long process, and then the editing will just be just as long, so it's going to be a while. I, middle, it'll be middle-ish of the year, at some point, that it'll be released. But it'll definitely happen, because it, I've worked really hard so far on this project, all the pre-production stuff. 
and it's taken a while and I'm not going to stop now. So don't you guys worry about it, it will happen. So that's kind of that 5 team minute update. So guys, I didn't really have a main topic of discussion. I did really want to put out this video of this um, gameplay of the Battle Harden pack. Plus I really felt like, you know, doing a commentary. I haven't done a long one of these in a few weeks. So I felt like doing that. Um, so pretty much I talked about the Battle Harden pack, which I recommend to everyone. I want everyone to get excited for the Tyranny of King Washington like me. I'll be doing preview videos for that. Um, and then once again, my thoughts go out to all those uh, victims and families of the victims during the um, Queensland floods that are going on now. Um, as well as any subscribers that live in Brisbane or Queensland or anything, I hope you're all being safe. And yeah, and the Fire Team Midnight scripts are done and I'll give you more updates of that in the very near future. So guys, that's really just multiple channel discussion topics. You know, just a general channel update, I guess. I felt like talking to you guys and giving you guys an update and everything. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay that was going on in the back because I didn't do much mention of it. Um, so once again, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to help the channel grow and to get all things Assassin's Creed. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.